into her own hands. This is Melissa Coates, the next NWA Anarchy Heavyweight Champion. This woman has won bodybuilding titles before, but now she is a professional wrestler, and she is the best professional wrestler in this company. And before too long, Ace Rockwell, Iceberg, we don't care who it is. No one can stop the undefeated Melissa Coates. Once again this week, we have an open challenge to any male wrestler in the locker room that thinks they can step in the ring with this incredible athlete. So whoever makes the call, whoever wants to come down and get beat down like everyone else, bring it on. Yes, sir. Greg Hunter, why did you adjust the volume on my head? Greg Hunter, this week right here, it looks like broke back Billy Buck is going to finally wrestle somebody that has the same taste in men as he does. <laughs> oh, my God. Ladies right. and gentlemen, I do feel the need at this point to remind all of our fans at home that the opinions of my broadcast colleague, John Johnson, are not necessarily those of NWA Anarchy, the National Wrestling Alliance, or the station of which you are watching this fine program on. Melissa Coates going one-on-one -on -one with Wild Billy Buck. Broke back Billy Buck. This week on NWA Anarchy, incredible announcement by Jerry Palmer about the mysterious Benefactor Tournament, which will crown the number one contenders to the tag team titles going into Fright Night 2007. Right now, Melissa Coates reversed. Hip lock perhaps by Billy Buck, good Lord. You know, this has to bring back nightmares for Billy Buck back when he was on the ranch. Huh? <laughs> Never mind. I'm not going there with that one. Thank God. Fish drop by Melissa Coates. Melissa Coates, I will give Al, Cret, uh, Al Getz this much credit. Very correct when he says an undefeated competitor here in NWA Anarchy inverted atomic drop by Melissa Coates. I'm not so certain if I were Al Gex that I would be making challenges to the likes of Ace Rockwell or Iceberg, whoever wins the heavyweight title match later on this hour. Well, you know, I mean, first of all, are you doubting the abilities of Melissa Coates? You no. don't think she could hang in there with the likes of Ace Rockwell or Iceberg? Am I doubting the abilities of Melissa Coates? No. Do I have my suspicions about whether or not she could take an Ace Rockwell or an iceberg, yes, yes I do, as a matter of fact. You know what your problem is, Greg Hunter? Uh, I know a myriad of problems I have, but I'm sure you'll tell me what this one is. You're repressed in your thoughts of females. Just because no woman would ever date you, you don't, you, you doubt her abilities. This is your dream woman, Greg Hunter. You dream that women like this would give you the time of day. This woman wouldn't give you the time of day if she sold watches. Melissa Coates nearly taking the face off of Wild Billy Buck. I mean, look at her, Greg Hunter. I mean, you know what? To call this woman a perfect 10 would be an insult. This woman is off the Richter scale. This woman is beyond a 10. This woman's like a 97 and three quarters. What I... On the Fajita scale. What I was going to say I do not doubt her abilities just because she is a woman. No, I. she is an incredible competitor, male or female. She is undefeated. What I doubt, you don't bring someone that has literally had less than a dozen matches into NWA Anarchy and say, yeah, they're ready for a shot at the heavyweight champ. Greg Hunter, let me ask you a question though. Was she ever given her chance to prove herself against the men of Anarchy? She was, she was, all this? she was left out of the Mega Rumble two weeks ago. Who's to say she could have won it all? Who's she, to say she would have? Who's to say she wouldn't have? Exactly. Why was she left out? 
Uh, I don't know, because there were 10 more deserving individuals in the Rumble? Maybe because Jerry Palmer's a sexist. Okay, and back to the match, ladies and gentlemen. Boots to the midsection. Wow, well, wow, Billy Buck. You know, I, I mean, she's got ability. She came into the Mega Rumble with an undefeated record. She should have been allowed. She's the only person here with an undefeated record. All right, now she is going to town on Wild Billy Buck. Pair of chops sounding off against the chest of the South Carolinian. And right now, Billy Buck. God bless you, Billy, but this isn't exactly the time to be a gentleman. Forearm shot right to the jaw of Billy Buck. Buck moves, schoolboy, run. And only a one count, Billy Buck. Hip block takeover. Setting up for the clothesline. He and couldn't drop it with that clothesline, Greg. I Hunter. think he stopped himself short on purpose. Power slam. Well, that's what he gets for being an idiot. Well, maybe what he gets for being a gentleman in this particular instant. A gentleman? Yes, a gentleman does not hit a woman in anger. Haven't you ever heard that? You're not hitting her in anger, you moron. This is competition. Well, right now, Billy Buck doesn't have any heart. Set out Gord Buster by Melissa Coates. Greg Hunter, I'm in cover two. That'll do it. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this match, Melissa Coates. <laughs> Melissa Coates, another win on the undefeated record of Al Getz's prize competitor, Melissa Coates. Wow. And much like his prom ended, Billy Buck being carted away after being beat up by a woman. Was that really necessary? It was, hey, he wouldn't hit her. I would have slugged that bra. I mean, I would have fans for when we come back. These vagabond shoes are